for the first time in U.S. history, people over the age of 65 are set to outnumber children by 2030. That's according to the Census Bureau. The projections say that one in every five Americans will be at retirement age, meaning that the country's growth will slow down significantly. The Bureau also says the non-Hispanic white population is expected to shrink, making minorities the majority in the coming decades. So joining me now to break down what all these numbers mean is sociologist Dr. William Fry. Doctor, thanks for joining us. So people, Good to be here. you know, we've been hearing about the browning of the country for a while, and we've also been hearing about the aging of the country for a while. But age and race, these two data points, they don't really seem like they're related, but can you tell us why they work together and what sort of impact this could have on the younger generation? Sure. I mean, as you mentioned, uh, we're getting older. There's no question about that. And the big reason we're getting older is that people like me, baby boomers, uh, are moving into the 65 and over age group. So that that old age group, the 65 and over age group, is going to increase by 40 percent in the next 12 years as all the baby boomers turn age 65 and over. And that's really what's causing this aging problem that's going on. Uh, but at the other side, we're looking at the younger population. And the younger population, even though uh, it's not going to be as big a percentage of the population as it was before, is becoming much more racially diverse. And that has a lot to do with past immigration from Latin America and other places. But today, most of the growth of that uh, diverse younger population has to do with birth to people who are already here. And we should be so glad about that because uh, this older age, pop, older age population, which is growing so dramatically, is going to have to depend on the productivity, the labor force commitment, and all of that aspect of the younger population, which is going to be increasingly diverse as we move forward. It's kind of a, a co-generational co dependency, I like to call it. This older, white pop, largely white population is going to be dependent on this very diverse younger population uh, to contribute to Social Security, to contribute to Medicare. And so I think these projections of an aging and also racially diverse population are really important looking forward. See, what you just said there makes some people really uncomfortable. This idea of an aging, diminishing, older white population, you said sort of a codependency with a younger, browner, uh, younger population, really the working age people. Can we talk a little bit about the dangers of projections like this when you consider, you know, almost every week we do a story about the rise in hate crimes in this country? Yeah, well, I think that people don't understand the demography properly. They look mm -hmm. at a headline and say that, you know, whites are becoming a smaller share of the population, and they may think, oh, the country's changing in a way that we really don't want it. But what they need to understand is that if we didn't have this younger, more racially diverse population, we would be aging even more rapidly. The, the median age of white people in the United States is 44. Uh, the median age of Latino people in the United States is 29. So um, we have to be looking at this as how is the country going to move, move uh, importantly going forward because of the growth of this younger population who will be more productive, who will help increase our, uh, our productivity or our economic growth. If you look at a country like Japan, for example, Japan is going to be in a situation very soon where there's only going to be two workers for one retiree. And the reason that that has such a small ratio of the working age population to the retired population is because they didn't have very much immigration for the last several decades. And they're in tough shape. I mean, they have a very high level of age dependency. It's almost like that in Italy. It's almost like that in Germany. But we don't have that problem as much here because we have the growth of this younger, more diverse population who came from other parts of the world whose age structures are a lot younger than ours. So I think if people understand that, it's really important for us to have this younger, growing population population to be able to support the older population, irrespective of the color of the people that mm -hmm. are involved. And I think, you know, people do get that. But for some people, the concern when you talk about the country's changing, uh, the concern is also uh, political. 
um, that when you have a, a different looking group of people voting, more of them voting, you're going to have a different looking government. Um, we've got, uh, you know, when we look at the midterm elections, we saw sort of a, a little a wave. We saw women. We saw African-Americans. We're still sort of in a time where we're talking about the first black person to or the first Hispanic person to. But do you see a time in the near future when this won't be a conversation, when a, a, a very diverse government will be something that we take for granted? Well, you know, I always say that uh, politicians are the best demographers. They know where to count the people. They know where to count the votes. So I think people of both major parties and third parties are going to understand this changing demography and are going to try to incorporate all of these new voices, all of these new issues into their agenda. It may be a little bit difficult right now, as you say. There's a little bit of this split, you know, one part of America, sort of older, whiter, rural versus an urban, more uh, uh, diverse population. But I think as, as more of these young people move into these middle ages, which we're going to see really with the millennial population, who is quite, which is quite a diverse population all over the country, that the politics will follow that. And uh, it'll may be a little rough for the next couple of elections, but uh, the demography will win out overall. Dr. William Fry, thanks a lot. Sure.